So I just finished filming a first impression on the Kat Von D Locket Foundation, which is what I'm wearing today. I have set, I have applied concealer and set everything with powder, so now I'm going to just go in and I'm not sure what look I'm going to do today. I know I want a bold lip, so I'm going to keep the eyeshadow kind of neutral, maybe add a flare with lashes, but most of the focus I'd like to be on the lips. So I'm going to work out of my... Lorac Pro Palette. I'm gonna go in starting with cream and then I'm going to use, where's it at? Mauve in the crease. Using just a no-named flat shader brush. And I'm gonna go in with that cream all over the eye lid, just the lid. I'm gonna take a Morphe E18, which is just a crease brush, and go in with that mauve in the crease to get the most color payoff. And then we'll blend it out. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my I'm gonna take my Morphe E13. Just um, a fluffy brush that I use. I'm gonna take a little bit of. Mm, it's called light pink. It's right next to the mauve. I'm gonna use that to blend right above the crease just a little bit. Like I said, I don't want to make anything too dramatic with the eyes. Just some definition. And I'm going to go back in with that crease brush, a little bit more of that mauve. Build it up just a little bit more. We, you tend to lose, you know, a little bit of your color each time you blend. So just add more, blend out, add more, blend out until you get the look that you want. You know what might look really good? Well... No, because I want <sighs> the struggle, the struggle. You know, I'm going to leave it at that because if I keep going, then I'm going to make it a dramatic eye and a dramatic lip. And that's not what I'm going for today. So I'm going to do the other eye and then I'll come back. Okay, now that we have done the other eye, I am going to go in with that mauve again with, with the crease brush and go right under the lash line. Hopefully my light cooperates with me today. I have new lights coming in on Tuesday of next week, so we should be good on technical difficulties, not having any more after that, hopefully. Fingers crossed. So I'm going to then go in with that light pink and just blend right under. I always like to smoke out my lower lash line. It's just my personal preference. I love having a smoky la lower lash. And then I'm going to go in with my um, flat, flat brush, the Morphe M432 is just a flat um, brush that I use for the lower lash line. And I am going to go in with taupe right here. And just rub that a little bit on the lower lash line to deepen it up a tad. Get some of that light pink on my fluffy brush and blend out. Then I'm going to get some gel liner. I'm going to use the MAC Black Track um, Fluid Line Gel Liner. And I'm using the Sigma Small Angle E65 brush. 
working at all. Curl the lashes and apply some mascara. And I'm just going to use the Benefit They're Real. And I am going to apply some lashes. They are from House of Lashes in Smoky Muse. And I'm gonna use the their lash glue. Things like this. And it just comes as a little brush applicator. I really love this lash glue by the way. You need such a thin layer and your lash stays put all day. Um, last Sunday when we went to church, I before I had got these lashes and glue in, um, I've been using the, art, uh, the Duo lash glue, this one right here, and I swear two Sundays in a row my husband's been like, honey, your lash is coming off at the corner. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And of course, you know, I don't have my glue with me at church, so. And this, no mishaps, like nothing. These things are, they stay put until you want them off. I love it. So that's that. Now I'm going to apply some mascara to my lower lashes. And my brows because it just feels funny without them. Um, I'm using the Anastasio new angled brow is and I have it in the color soft brown and on the other end it's got a spoolie which helps you just blend everything out comb the hairs the way you want love it I've tried a bunch of other brow products but honestly nothing ever really compares Oh, just love this. Okay. So now we're going to move on to contour and then blush and highlight. Let's get going. Um, Benefit Hula Bronzer. And then I'm going to go in and contour with the NARS Eda brush. It's this one right here. And the Anastasia con contour kit using these two shades. And now we are going to go in with some blush. I'm going to use the Milani blush in the shade Romantic Rose. And I'm using the Morphe E4 brush. And 
highlight. I'm gonna use the Becca Cosmetics um, Highlight and Champagne Pop by Jaclyn Hill. Well, she created the color, I should say, but it is by Becca. It's just an e.l.f. small stippling brush. Okay, and now we are going in with the lip. I am going to use the Dose of Colors um, Bury Me Too. It's the liquid lipstick, the matte ones. And, but first, I'm going to use a lip liner because I have found it's just easier that way. Now, I don't have a lip liner to match this color, but I'm just going to use um, a darker nude one. And this is the Revlon Color Stay in Mauve. And then I'm gonna go in with that liquid lipstick. And that is the finished look, you guys. Let me zoom you in here. All right. I hope you enjoyed this. To Ooh, back up. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this. Um, it was kind of just an impromptu get ready with me. I just felt like sitting down and playing with some makeup today. I didn't really have anything in mind, but this is what came out and I really love it. I hope that you enjoyed it. Hope you have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel also so you can see more videos that come up throughout the next coming weeks. Bye.